Ah, hey now. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be scary. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvid, and today I want to play a game called Dreams Made of Obsession. And nothing's happened yet. Why am I so scared? It starts with the feeling of being watched. Everything is frozen, like a photograph under a dark room red light. I feel a draft indicating that a door is open. It could be anything, and yet I'm convinced that someone has broken in. Mm. Ah! Don't do that! Either my brightness is really, really down, or it's just two glowing eyes in the darkness. I don't like that. <laughs> Once again, it has found me. The same vanta black silhouette staring at me in the darkness. Flirt aggressively with it. You'll either gain a new friend or it'll go away. His build resembles that of a human, and it's not, despite his efforts to make me believe otherwise. The air circulates between us. A breeze from nowhere disrupts his contours. And then... <laughs> ah! Hey! Then, in a flash, he leaps onto me to dominate me. I try to flee, but to no avail. The beast has already caught me. How do you make a sound effect of smirking? Smirk sound effect! Frantically, I scratch its forearm, but its skin is tough. The strong hand on my neck tightens so much that I feel like my eyeballs will pop out. Ah! Quit it! It seems to amuse him, but he takes on a more thoughtful expression. Hmm. My vision blurs. The last thing that is clear is his serious gaze. What did I do to you, buddy? Or is this some kind of weird guilt? Ah. Driven by an adrenaline rush, your eyelids widen in astonishment. You clutch your neck as if to check that your head is still attached to your shoulders. The moment you find yourself back in your old 20 square meter apartment, you've already forgotten the details of the nightmare. What time is it? You reach out an arm towards the floor, tapping until you touch a slippery surface. 2 p.m. Oh, you miss the morning lecture. You can still make it to the afternoon one if you hurry. Due to work, you're neglecting your studies more and more. You can't remember the last time you sat on a lecture hall. Without conviction, you get up, stumbling over old cans left from the night before. Mm -mm. <sighs> I gotta, gotta run down the hallway with a piece of toast in my mouth. I'm so scared, nothing's happened yet. You arrived just in time. Quietly, lowering your head, you settle in at the back row of the lecture hall. At this point in the year, the number of students has halved, leaving plenty of space to settle in. The professor, who looks like he's coming from a rough night, finally decides to start his medieval history class. There's no clear evidence indicating direct practices similar to those observed in some contemporary cultures. Medieval funeral practices were often marked by specific religious rituals and beliefs associated with Christianity at the time. You mop your forehead with your hand to wipe away the sweat. It's too hot. You're starting to feel dizzy. Oh, you should have brought some water with you or stayed home. Observing others, you realize that everyone seems to be handling the class well. Your right leg won't stop moving. It keeps hitting the table, making an annoying, repetitive noise. Some people are staring at you. You should leave. You pack up your laptop and head towards the exit. Mm -mm. What's going on here? You're going home to binge watch a series and sleep. It will be much better. In your situation, studying art history doesn't serve much purpose anymore. You should give up to earn more money. Hmm. As you walk along the path towards the exit, you feel eyes on you. Hey. You. 
They're scary. With small steps, you try to escape, but they've already approached you. Hi there! We're part of the Student Committee for the Preservation of Culture and Heritage. Do you know us? Not knowing where to look, you mumble a half-hearted yes. I know you too! You're from Revolutionary Girl Utena! <laughs> Great! We want to inform as many people as possible about the new campus exhibition. Check this out! Instinctively, you take the flyer they eagerly hand you. There are paintings and even artifacts from the Middle Ages. It's a concentrated paradise of art and knowledge. You can find all of that right over there. They point to a distant horizon. You just need to have your student ID. Actually, we're heading there now. We can accompany you. Listen, pals, I'm going home. I don't feel good. No. No. No, I, I escape. <laughs> no thanks, guys. Scanning the surroundings, the university library catches your attention. I gotta borrow a few books. Oh. Then tell your friends about it. You start to head towards the revolving door of the library. The strangers eventually drift away in search of other lost students. Mm -mm. <laughs> Maybe next time, guys. You entered the first building you saw to escape. You could actually take a book or two while you're at it. There are stairs leading to the next floor. In the Humanities Hall, you look at the different sections without much ambition. Philosophy, anthropology, sociology... Nothing particularly attracts you. You continue to delve deeper towards the back of the floor to reach dimly lit shelves. Mm -mm. Yes, let's go in the dimly lit section. No one must come here, as the books are dusty and deteriorated. Lowering your head, you notice a small concealed section. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Tales and legends. There's only one row, and it's well hidden. Hmm. You crouch down to take a look at them, and take the thinnest one in the middle. It's entitled, Study and Approach of the Nameless Beasts. There's a summary on the book. Evil spirits that infiltrate the dreams of the weak-minded. Hey. By nature obsessive, they fixate on a particular person in order to possess them. They aim to kill their victim until they weaken and facilitate their grip. Mm -mm. There's no solution to date, but it is acknowledged that they are very vulnerable in their dimension. Mm -mm. But none of them will let you reach their weakness. So, if a beast is hunting you, consider yourself already doomed. Oh, gee, thanks. Ah! Mm -mm. Is the class over? I didn't even realize. I'm surprised I stayed until the end. I turn my head to the usual spot where I store my bag and notice its absence. Perplexed, I scratch my scalp loudly. Am I still in the dream? Leo, am I still in the dream? A freezing wind slaps against my arms. In the distance, the exit door was ajar. Despite the anxiety, I quickly descend the stairs, trying to make as little noise as possible. Once in front of the door, I ponder something I had never thought of before. Why have I never tried to go out? I always stay in the place where I find myself. Is it because I never quite make it to the door? Gulp. I'm so stressed out, I feel pressure in my throat. Are you excited for a date tonight? A burning heat emanates continuously at my back. I dare not look over my shoulder. Ah, hey now. That's a nice collarbone you got there, sir. The bad, bad habit, habit when you're sitting, sitting at the back, back of a room, of room is that, that you don't, don't think, think to look, to look behind, behind you. Ah, he has a point. We could almost have gone down the stairs hand in hand. Listen, buddy, stay away from my throat! Or don't! 
You can speak? I didn't know. Because, because you, you never, never tried, tried to, talk to talk to me. me. Well, I don't know. You kind of literally go straight for the throat, friend. Oh. Are you, are you trembling? trembling? Uh, are you going to kill me? I didn't, I didn't plan, plan on, on it. it. Unless, Unless you want to. No, thank you! No, no, no. I don't want that. I'll never, never lose, lose control, control again. again. I promise. He moves closer, but I move back. What's, What's the, problem? the problem? I said I, said I won't I do it again. But... Uh, why? It turns it out I was a bit too effective. effective. And now your mind is on the brink of disappearance. By killing you repeatedly, you've become weak enough for me to possess entirely. I don't understand, but you mean it's over, right? You're going to stop chasing me for good? Even though I'll miss it? Yes. So that was the solution. Making peace with our demons? Because from today on, you belong to me, so it's no longer a chase in that case. What? Wait, what? Ah! Oh no, I got possessed! <clears throat> With clasped hands, you gather the cold water flowing gently from the tap and wash your face with it. You have to go to work, but you don't want to. Staring into the rust of the sink, you feel absent for a moment. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Who's ringing? You look through the peephole to discover who it might be, and notice it's the delivery guy. Dreading the interaction, you crack open the door. Mm -mm. Ah, it's another shadow person! Hello. I thought there was nobody here. I kept calling. You check your phone and realize you have three missed calls. I didn't hear. Mm. Are you Espoir? Mm. He squints and smiles at you. What's with that look? Is he trying to flirt with you? No way. He's clearly looking down on you. Here are your groceries. The receipt is inside. <laughs> Pathetic delivery guy, hey. Without a word, you gaze at the large bag of groceries he places in front of you. Have a nice day. He walks away and descends the stairs near your door. Bending weakly, you grab the shopping bag and throw it into the hallway. Everything spills out. You'll deal with it when you get back tonight. Aww. The cutter in your hand slicing through the cardboard, you think about your paycheck. You think about how you'll use it between your overdue rent and your debt. As you unfold it, you forget this thought. You add it to an endless pile of flat cardboard and do the same thing again. Your paycheck. Ah, another shadow person. Your colleague with raised eyebrows passed by you. He shot you a controlled, dark look. Oh, annoying guy. With a kick he feigned as unintentional, he knocked over the large stack of cardboard. L d dude, I've got a box cutter right here that could accidentally find itself in your shins. Oh, I'm sorry. As if he was in a hurry, he moved away. Without a word, you watch the cardboard spread out on the floor over meters away. At that same moment, the team leader passed by without having seen your colleague's gesture. He stops for a moment. I know it's the end of the day, but it's blocking the passage. The carts pass through here. Can you hurry up and pick them up? Okay, at this point I would have I, I would have gone wild on one of these two. You crouch down and pick them up as requested. Oh, by the way, Espoir, I'd like to have a word with you about something. I've noticed you've been coming late quite a few times. Well, you see, it's because there's this really sexy shadow demon that's been haunting me, and now he wants to possess me. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Five, ten minutes? I'm not one to nitpick, 
But if we keep accumulating them, I think we should add hours for you to make up for this shortfall. Ugh. Gross. It's not normal not to arrive at the same time as everyone else, if you catch my drift. You know, there are people who come in earlier because they're not lazy, and they think about the Collective. Just putting that out there. Every word coming out of this character's mouth is driving me insane. <laughs> this stupid guy has no interest in you. Whenever he's looking for you, it's never for anything good. Ah! Shadow friend, are you going to help me? Espoir. A deep voice keeps calling my name. Espoir. Open your eyes. But he's hot though, but eee! Got a nice jawline, eee! You sure took your time. The beast leans over and swings a leg over my body. Uh. Am I unsettling you? I think you're more terrifying me. <laughs> It made him laugh. You have this pathetic look. I like you. Even though I can't see his face, I can feel his euphoria. Stop laughing at my despair or I'm gonna kiss you. <laughs> you were on my mind today. I couldn't stop thinking about how much we compliment each other, you and I. You are alone. And I am always here for you. Complimenting each other isn't quite it. Hmm? He seems shocked. I shouldn't have said that. So, we're alike. We know what it's like to be alone. I feel close to you. Do you feel the same? He exhales, and I feel his breath caress my cheek. Uh... I can't feel close with someone I don't know the name of. What are you talking about? You know my name. Uh... Oh. My love? Okay. Are you a husband I don't remember marrying? My... Love? Yes, yes boss. boss? What is what, it? What? Oh. That's a That's beautiful a name, name, isn't it? it? Only, Only you can you say, say it. it. Ah. Deep in thought, you place final products on the shelves. You discreetly pull out your phone to check the time. It's almost break time. You head towards the back door of the supermarket. <laughs> a few colleagues are sitting in a circle. They haven't noticed you, giving you the opportunity to search for your belongings while eavesdropping. You're sure they're talking about you. And have you seen her hair? It's always so greasy. <laughs> That's not what caught my attention. It's more her gaze. It's like the gaze of a real psychopath. I'm super perceptive. I can recognize them. Hey, you're harsher than me. You were the one who trained her when she arrived. You're kidding. She was clinging to me like a puppy. It was so annoying, said the guy in the middle. The others burst into laughter in unison. Hey now. Inadvertently, your gaze meets that of the man with the arched eyebrows. He strides towards you with determination. He's going to attack you. He's going to hit you. Get out of here. Sorry. I wanted to grab my bag behind you. Oh, does the MC suffer from anxiety? Oh, by the way, Espoir, we're having Karen's farewell party after work. Are you staying with us? Why does... Why does no look all... I mean, why does yes look all bandaged up like that? No, I don't want... Honestly, no. Mm -mm, no, thank you. I don't want to. No, I don't want to. Thank you. All right. Have a good evening, then. Why was, why was Yes all bandaged up like that? He rejoins his group and leaves. 
They're trying to persecute you. Mm -mm. The bus is taking a long time, and there are more and more people. Everything is so noisy. Mm -mm. More shadow girls! Two girls are talking loudly next to you. Do they want everyone to hear them? It's obvious they're not coming from work or anything serious, unlike you. One of them playfully pushes the other while giggling, which jostles you. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Who do they think they are? You give them a look, and, as if something scared them, they move away. Why does everyone have to bother us? Us? In the middle of your muttering, you turn your head to the left, towards the bus stop window. Mm -mm. You can see a reflection. Your appearance suddenly shocks you. Mm -mm. You lower your head, ashamed. But you shouldn't, because you're cute as you are. Hey, was that my love saying that? It's cold. It smells damp. The walls are unhealthy, and the tiles are sticky. I'm in my bathroom. This your bathroom, fam? Ugh. I'll barge into your bathroom with some fantastic. This looks like Silent Hill. I look around and realize I'm completely alone. Even in the bathtub, no one is hiding. I'm relieved, but it feels oddly lonely. What should I do? Hmm. Uh, wash the face, look in the mirror, sit down. Let, let's wash the face, that might, that might make you feel better. I turn on the faucet, hoping to see water flow. Hmm. Nothing comes out. Why? Did I forget to pay the water bill? But, buddy. Oh my god! Oh my god. Buddy! Sir, put those away. Through the door, an imposing figure emerges from the darkness. It looks so powerful that, by its touch, it seems to support the walls. Although his expression is indecipherable, something tells me he's angry. Well, do we have a new place of anxiety? The beast confidently slips into the room without looking back. Mm -mm. Listen here, pecs, I mean abs, I mean biceps. I feel like the bathroom warms up when he arrives. Rather cramped as a place, but it's fine. I prefer small spaces to large ones, because I can feel the warmth more easily. I always find you. You should be happy that someone is looking for you like I do. While you, you never seek me out. Gulp. He looks serious. I shouldn't annoy him. I, I was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? <laughs> Ouch! The beast pushed me violently into the bathtub and leapt onto me. Oh no! Oh dear! <laughs> All my attention is reserved for you while you are flirting with others. Huh? Do you think I know nothing? Why do you let others talk to you? I have to. It's the minimum- That's, That's not, not true. true. You, always you always have a have choice. choice. You can just, just stay with me instead of running away. If you don't, if you don't show, show me any interest, I won't let you live anymore. What a day. It was dreadful, just like the days before it. Sitting at the bus stop, you think about everything you've done now that has led to nothing. You went into debt to live alone and study what you wanted, but you ended up losing interest and feeling lonely. You don't love anyone, and no one loves you, at least in this life. 
Don't forget that your lover will always take care of you. You seem to need a lot of sleep and to be away from people. Stop, Stop working, working and rest, rest with me. Now you listen here. I don't know what shenanigans are going on here, but this sounds an awful like what I like to call the void. That thing in the back of my mind that tells me stuff. It's like, oh, you don't need to do that. You don't need to hang out with people. You don't need friends. You don't need to live your life. I call that the void. It's like a mix of anxiety and depression, and it's just an inky black void that, that's spilling you all this nonsense, but it loves you. Espoir, are you there? Espoir? Leave me alone! It's dirty, small, and depressing. It's home. On TV, the end credits of a movie are scrolling at a soporific pace. The text is changing and blurry. I can't read it. No! Now that I know it's the void, don't sit! Don't sit! Get up! Get up! I have more important things to do. My door is still closed. Nobody has entered. Its outlines vibrate as if it were purring. <laughs> I'll confront my fears. Yeah, you tell the void what for. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Why am I in a forest? <laughs> it's too cold. That's why when the door was open, there was a wind that... Espoir. Oh no, it's my love. Listen, you. You're whispering a lot of sweet nothings in my ear, and I don't appreciate it. Seated against a tree, he stands up. After all this time, you finally come to get me. You had never tried to do it. I thought our relationship was one-sided, and yet, here you are. I'm so, I'm so happy. happy. He seems to be softer and more vulnerable. Or are you really a mythical creature and not a manifestation of depression and uh, I can actually dispel you? What is this place? Actually, actually I, don't I don't know either. either. As, far as, as far as I can, I can remember, remember, I was, I was here. here. When, when I, think I think that, that you, you invaded, invaded my privacy, my privacy. I haunted, I haunted so many so dreams, dreams, and so, and so many, many unknowns. unknowns. No, one no one has ever tried, tried to talk to me, to or pass through the door. I always I have always to have search to for the other, and sometimes, sometimes I, forget I forget why, why I, do I do it. But you but are you here. here. Now, now I know that you are mine, and I, I never, have, never to have to worry again. again. Uh, no, 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 we, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, maybe in another playthrough, but now that I know what you are, no. No, Void. Get out of here with that. <laughs> it's me who decides if I'm yours, and you can stick your finger in your eye. Yeah, or I'll do it for you. What are what you are saying? saying? In rage, I leap on him and strangle him to the ground. Yeah! Ugh. <sighs> Maybe you observe everything the other me does, but now that she did a bunch of research on you, you were too absorbed to understand that it was about you. Ugh. Espoir. Espoir. Why? Why? The beast tries to grab my arms, but its grip has no strength. It's the opposite here, how you can see. The one who introduces the dream is in a position of power. That is what I read. It was a risky bet, but the most important thing is that it worked. Did we get him? You were certainly powerful in mine, but here, I'm the one in charge. And today, when I wake up, I'll turn off this darn TV. I'll open my blinds, and then I'll tidy up my apartment. I don't know about the future, but I'll think about what to do later. Ugh. The beast stops struggling and then lets me do it. He looks at me, saddened. I'm not weak. I have too many things to do. 
so leave me alone. Yeah, Void. Ending three. Did we get him? Did we do it? The feverish light from the television illuminating the room pulls me out of a nightmare. I wake up on my couch in the same place as usual. I relax my clenched hands and get up, knocking over some cans. It's a real mess. I better take care of it. I turn off the TV and cut off the unbearable background noise. Finally, silence. I walk towards the window and open the blinds. Yeah! We did it! We choked the void out! Trying to tell us that we'll never amount to anything. We showed him. Time to, time to do the other endings where we don't show him. Doing everything, everything the same, but except for this. What if I do accept his love? What you got for me? Because if it's what I think you got, I don't want it. <clears throat> and you too. Oh no! Eh? You left your job. It was too painful, and it consumed you too much. And then it was stressful. No one wanted to see you there. People hate you because they're horrible. You prefer to sleep a lot, to rest. Mm -mm. Ah. Listen, you. In your dreams, you find your lover by your side. Always listening. He asks you if you had a good day and how you feel. He is your reality, and the others your nightmares. Sometimes you think about how much you missed a unique opportunity. But I have to admit, I don't know what you're referring to. Mm -mm. Ending two. Er. Manifestation of anxiety and depression that he is. Still pretty hot, though. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, how, how about we get a little bit more proactive in life? Uh, let's, let's be like that movie, uh, what was it, with Jim Carrey, Yes Man, where he, he changes his life by saying yes to all these weird opportunities, and I've actually never seen that movie, I don't know how it ends. But I do know one thing. Let's be, let's accept this, whatever you two have going on. Great! It's going to be super fun. You won't regret it. Follow us. Mm, gonna put me in a cult? The strangers chatted happily during the journey while you stayed back. You felt like a duckling following its mother across the road. Enjoy yourself. Why does this remind me of, of Charlie the Unicorn Candy Cave? And they're gonna sing a song, and then I'm gonna pass out, and then I'm gonna wake up, and I'm not gonna have a kidney. Okay. They left you alone, so now you can slip away discreetly. Oh. You're heading towards the exhibition because it would be a shame not to take advantage of it. Fine. You gaze at the paintings without thinking much. You quickly reach the last painting in a small collection. Mm -mm. Ooh. Take that, depression! The beast will die in the forest, painted by Godefroy Voynich in the 13th century. Hmm. There's something oddly familiar about this image, but you don't know what. The last painting ever painted by the artist, highly renowned for his commissions, he became a shadowy and paranoid figure before his disappearance. Hmm. He had told some that the beast was stalking and killing him every day, but that he would kill it in the forest. The day after this confession, he left his studio and vanished. Mm -mm. Even today, we don't know what he was referring to. Your artistic sense is superior to these uglinesses. It's better not to waste time with these stories. Hmm. Mm -mm. All right, all right. Annoying, annoying co-worker wants to, uh, 
wants to invite me to a party. Sure. Ah! How dare you! You don't tell me what to do! Well, fine. Why do I have a feeling that something spooky will happen if I look in the mirror? The reflection in the mirror doesn't evoke anyone to me. This silhouette seems familiar, but something is off. Mm -mm. Uh, does anything happen if I sit down instead? I sit on the slippery edge of the bathtub, positioned right in front of the door. We'll certainly come face to face. I don't know what to do with him anymore. Mm. Listen, buddy. You and your pecs. Uh, alright. Last time I chose not to sit. What if I do sit? What if I give in? Uh, it feels so good to marinate in the static of the TV. I sit on my old couch and stare at the TV screen like every night. I relive this moment of daily rest where I let myself numb, except it's not relaxing anymore. It's futile to let myself be in a constant waiting room where I wait for my next appointment. None of them appeal to me, except one. The next time you come to pick me up, maybe I'll have waited for you. Was there something spooky up there? That morning, the building caretaker saw you hastily leaving your place with a shadow on your face. By evening, you hadn't returned. In fact, you never returned. No one saw you at work, at the bus stop, or even in class. You had vanished, and except for your apartment owner, no one had looked for you. It was low-key disappointing, but it didn't matter anymore. You eventually forgot who you were. Impossible to know how long you've been trapped in this forest. Much time has passed, and now you had to listen to your instincts. You need to live again, but for that, you must find someone weaker than you. Oh no! Ending one. Oh no! I became the shadow! Did I- did I get super cool muscles and pecs? I believe that is all the endings and- Oh boy, I like that. Oh, that was so spooky. <laughs> that was so spooky and it hit me in the feels. I understood. At least I think so. When I mention something called the void, that's kind of what I mean. It's like this inky black thing that's trying to get you to leave behind your own world and come into theirs because they love you so much. I don't know 100% if that's what the artist is trying to show, but that's what I feel. I'd really love to know if that's what they were going for. But goodness, did the void have to be so hot? <laughs> and as always, there will be a link in the description of this video so that you can follow this developer to see if they make any other games. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope.